Hey, what's up everybody? This is Monkey from the band Corn, and I'm at Ibanez today at the custom shop here in LA. I'm gonna be talking to you about the new Apex series guitars, celebrating 20 years from our first self-titled album, Corn. When I first started, I started out playing other guitars, but I think what really caught my eye was Steve Vai. He came in with the handle, and I saw him, he came out with David Lee Roth and he released Eat Him and Smile. And that was just like opened so many creative doors for me. But it was really when he introduced the, the universe, when he released Passion and Warfare. That's when I was like, that's my instrument. I knew right away, like I gotta have one of those. Fieldy and I were living in Long Beach when Passion and Warfare album came out. And we were in another band, an earlier band. I was like, wow, this guitar, if we can incorporate this low, heavy sound into what we're doing now, it would be huge. There was a uh, one dealer down the street on Bellflower Boulevard. He took it down from me. He's like, yeah, this is the only one, man. I played it a little bit and it felt really odd in my hands, but I was like, I could get used to this, you know? It was the one that had the disappearing pyramids. After seeing it, like I fell in love with it. This is my dream guitar. Once we started to write songs with this one guitar, the band started to take off. We were about to hit the road and I needed another guitar. I went through the recycler and found another guitar. Actually, Steve Vai had signed the back, so I was like, whoa, this is really cool. Another one of those moments like, this is so meant to be. It was then that I was like, we have to call this company, like, because we need more guitars. After our manager calling continuously, Ibanez, we got one of the guys from the company to come down to the Troubadour, check us out. Developing the Apex 200, where we are today with this thing, it's been sort of a journey, but it's come full circle because I love a lot of the stuff about my first guitar, and that's what I fell in love with it. Through the years, I got away from that because I wanted to try different things in different styles, but now I kind of keep reverting to the original things that made me fall in love with the guitar, so. Okay, so the first thing about the guitar is the color scheme. I came up with this a few months ago, and these colors to me are just like metal, red, black, and gray, so. I stuck with the five-piece neck. It gives you a lot of strength, especially if you're doing different tunings, and it also helps support a live situation where uh, you tend to fall or <laughs> bang the guitar around or things that happen on stage are unpredictable. So that helps the, the whole structure of the body to having the five piece winch neck. I wanted a clean, natural looking headstock and that together with the black hardware as well as the low pro tremolo. This is what was on my original universe. So, And also my original universe was the tilt neck joint, which is uh, something that they stopped doing, I've been to stop doing for a while. And then the uh, inlay also is a design I came up with. It's a compass star, and um, when you're creating something, you sort of let your creative mind sort of be able to go in any direction and let it feel safe, I guess. That's where the inspiration came behind the compass star. Again, I've been with the Marzio Blaze pickups for a while. They designed these seven string custom ones for me. They sound great. The single coil pickup, I really like in the neck position because when you go to those clean sounds, you know, I try to emulate in a live situation, a cleaner like a tally or something like that. And you can really capture that with that. And just a simple volume knob, um, humbucker. And just to keep things really simple, I wanted the guitar to kind of look sleek kind of like just a fast race car, you know? I wanted an alder wood body. To me, the alder wood guitars just seem like they can take a little bit more of a beating, and I tend to beat my guitars up a little bit, sort of pick a fight with them every night, and it usually wins, but the alder wood sounds great, it's consistent, and it has just a little bit more of a resonance to me, especially for those low end notes. So this is the Apex 200 Ibanez guitar designed by me and Ibanez for 20th anniversary for Corn.
This right here is the Apex 20. This is another design that we came up with. And this is um, a little bit more of an affordable version of my signature series. It's a really reliable guitar, you know, and it has a fixed bridge. You know, the specs are pretty much the same as the signature guitar. It has the black hardware. I want any guitar player to be able to pick this thing up and feel comfortable with it. And I've been playing it for three months. I love it, and one of the things I love about it is that I can use alternate tunings. Some of our catalog songs are in standard tuning. Some of them are in a lower tuning, so that's the advantage of having a fixed bridge. I love the flat black. The back of the neck is really smooth and pretty fast. Again, it has the, the blaze pickup, same as the signature guitar. And I like this configuration a lot, this with the single coil, again, to get great clean tones. For this guitar, we did a basswood. Still a great, great wood to, to build guitars with. We covered it in also this matte, kind of a satin finish. To me, it just gives it a little bit more of an aggressive look, too. Ibanez and I came up with this stainless steel pickguard. It looks just really great. Kind of reminds me of an airplane, which is just something that's super sleek and fast. And there you have it, Apex 20.